Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what's coming through for you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So, your energies, guys. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, your person's energies, Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Meeting Energies, Judgment, and the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands, um, an extremely spiritual energy. 11-11 card for a lot of readers, a soulful partnership, this can be a marriage, of course, if we follow the uh, general meaning that can be associated to the, to the card. Um, overall, this is um, a commitment, let's say, a partnership that can be considered as a stable one, because there are shared values within it, but... This does not mean that uh, challenges are not uh, part of the journey. And here we have um, a challenge for sure because of this energy in particular, Seven of Swords, that can be the cause for a little bit of anxiety. The mind can be uh, challenged. Balance should be restored in some way or the other but in the meeting of the energies we have quite a powerful combination which is about some type of a final call and at least the idea to move in a different direction so let's go for this spread sadness and uh, regrets are involved with the five of cups bottom of the four of wands things that didn't go according to expectations and in other cards, considering the Five of Cups, we see the Four of Wands, indeed, at the two sides of the bridge. So, um, some type of a disappointment uh, when it comes to love connections, love partnerships. So, guys, uh, your energies, um, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Um, the point here is about uh, the fact that when the Nine of Swords shows up, our mind is working against us uh, because we are uh, struggling. We are overthinking a lot of things, a lot of factors. There is a touch of anxiety um, following the general meaning, sleepless nights, uh, monkey mind going left and right. There is a reason in this case, and it is uh, driven by these Seven of Swords something that uh, can be considered as a behavior, an action, words that may have been said, that, um, that can be considered as a source of um, disappointment within a connection that without putting any label on it uh, can be um, a stable one, uh, an established one. And so the Queen of Pentacles, for some of you, is an encouragement uh, to um, find within yourself the strength, I would say, to channel nurturing and caring energies towards yourself, first and foremost, so that you can leave behind these Nine of Swords as a challenging energy for for your mind, for your body, uh, because it can drain uh, quite a lot. It can be challenging to uh, face. And so the Queen of Pentacles is the perfect as example of someone that is able to uh, take care of herself. And she can also be perceived as a um, stable human being, uh, quite reliable, a source of advices, words of encouragement and support. Uh, this is the type of support that you truly um, should grant in your own favor so that you can release 
these heavy energies, you know? But at the same time, these energies are deeply linked to these Seven of Swords. For me, um, behaviors that are not aimed at the best possible outcome, I am sure that you know the drill with the meaning of the card, lies, betrayals, deceit. Um, the point here is about the fact that some of your persons may have done something wrong, they may have misjudged a situation, um, taking action in a way that can um, be a source of disappointment for you. And the Six of Pentacles is an interesting energy because it can be about the fact that some of them uh, may have recognized that um, they have done you wrong in some way and so they are trying to figure out how to not just reconcile but how to regain some points um, with you because the Six of Pentacles for me is a fair and fair exchange that can uh, bring balance uh, within an interaction and so that we can avoid one of the downsides of the energy which is the one man up one man down dynamic for example someone that uh, can take advantage of another person and with the seven of swords this person may have taken advantage in some way with some behavior with uh, some words that they may have said uh, they may have taken advantage of some of you guys. Um, it's challenging, to be honest, because um, if it was something unexpected because of this um, stable energy when it comes to relationships and partnerships, um, this combination may truly um, represent a final call. So I will say this considering the meeting of the energies because the feeling is um, is a 50-50 um, at the moment and it depends on how meaningful and how truthful can be considered the um, desire of this person to admit even uh, their fault. The judgment is a revelation, a realization even a um, light bulb moment in some sense. There is clarity, there is truth. This is a divine truth offered to those that are open to receive it. Let's say some, again, unexpected news that may have uh, come out. So you have discovered something about these Seven of Swords. If I am not mistaken, it was a um, um, main topic even in one of your uh, last readings so it seems some type of uh, follow-up but um, still the eight of cups is an energy that um, tells us the story of a brave man that after a deep evaluation is willing to leave behind eight cups so that he can pursue his own ultimate emotional fulfillment because possibly in the previous situation, his heart and soul couldn't be fulfilled. This is textbook meaning about this situation. If the Seven of Swords is too deep and the regrets and the disappointments are um, too heavy, the judgment will work as a realization that um, despite how meaningful can be considered the connection, there is the chance to go separate ways. You will have the opportunity to channel Queen of Pentacles energy towards yourself and you will pursue your own ultimate emotional fulfillment in a different scenario because some of these persons have taken advantage of some of you guys without admitting uh, their fault, basically. The other scenario, allow me to say, um, can be considered as one where this is the um, potential situation that can happen, this person may realize their own fault and so they will try to uh, regain points in your eyes. This is the final call 
basically either we are in the four of ones energy as a partnership together at the 100 percent or the queen of pentacles so some of you will decide to move away but in the second scenario this can be um, i do not want to say an ultimatum but um, it works like that it's an out out basically and so uh, it's a call to this person to take responsibility for what they may have done so that possibly we can um, restore the balance and the fairness within the partnership especially if this is a marriage you know and the judgment can be considered even as a second chance type of opportunity but this will depend guys because these seven of swords can be can be uh, tricky you know the encouragement is to try at least to release the heavy energies of the mind that we can find in the nine of swords take care of yourself if you are resonating with the energies of course queen of pentacles is quite an approach focus on the things that can fulfill uh, your heart and soul meaning the hobbies even that can allow yourself to um, ease a little bit the energies and then the connection if it is still blessed with the trust that we can find in the four of ones it can be restored the ultimatum allow me to say can be um, as the opportunity to reconcile and try again together if this is not possible because this uh, energy is too deep and related to the disappointment and the sadness then the eight of cups will become more than an idea and so some of you may move in a different direction compared to this person's one so guys let's see i will leave it at that i truly hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon.